Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream, and today is August the 12th. I'm going to do your spiritual principle a day in a meditation with you. I'm brought to you by Hope Through Navigation. This is our Hood Recovery Services. And if you need to reach me, please do so at recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. Let's go ahead and get into our meditation for today, August 12th. Finding grace in the process. Spiritual awakening is a process. Maybe it is what the whole process is about. We nurture our awakening spirits and know that we are finally free to live in grace, integrity, and dignity. That's taken from the Living Clean Chapter 3, Creative Action of Spirit. When we are, were using drugs, our spirit slowly eroded as our disease progressed. We compromised our beliefs and screwed over anyone who got in the way of our self-serving plans. The journey from desperation to spiritual awakening is a long and storied path for each of us. A pink cloud may protect us from the jagged edges of life on life's terms for a time, but reality sets in sooner or later. Eventually, we will walk through the death of someone close to us or perhaps go through a painful divorce with years clean. We each deal with loss differently. Our initial response may be to avoid our feelings, instead seeking comfort in food or sex or gaming. With time, we learn to rely on a power greater than ourselves and our support group to navigate overwhelming feelings. When we let go and surrender to the process, our spirits are free to awaken. Grace teaches us to let things unfold naturally and let go of the illusion of control. We're less invested in outcomes. And we focus instead on aligning our will with the greater good. We open our minds to the possibilities and pay attention to opportunities as well as to closed doors. We live in the moment and enjoy the freedom that comes with grace. I will let go of my expectations and enjoy the clarity of the moment. I will allow myself to be present for the evolution of my spiritual journey and revel in the grace of living just for today. You know, I'm speechless. I feel like I read it, but it's going to take time for my spirit to interpret it and receive it. Because for me, when I, when I talk about grace, living in grace, it's not it's not just like a, a basic conversation. It's a, a gift. To me, it's a gift to have the grace of God in my life is a gift. Right? It's not about a few words written on paper. Uh, have you ever heard of anyone refer to the Constitution um, of the United States as a living document? What a living document actually means is that it is interpreted in real time. It was written under the unction or the understanding that it would be effectual always, right? And so it's a living document, meaning that you should be able to apply it in real time, no matter what the circumstance. Now, grace to me, is like that. Grace is a living spiritual principle that is always available to you. It's always ready to be tapped into and the well never runs dry. It is one of the most beautiful spiritual principles that I have ever encountered uh, in my whole life, outside of NA and inside of NA. Grace allows me the opportunity to learn 
how to live without condemnation, without judgment. It, it's something that's given to me. And a person can give you grace. They can afford you grace. But sometimes that level of hum, uh, human's grace does run out. People lose patience with us. People, for the sake of their own uh, well-being and their own recovery, will draw lines with you uh, if you continue to cause them harm or you continue to drag them into things that they don't want to be a part of, right? People will tell you, I'm done, right? But this grace that comes from God the spiritual grace that we don't manufacture as people is a very deep thing. It's a very live thing and it is always present. So that's why you want to have a relationship with your higher power, with God, so that you can become completely free and live in grace, integrity, and dignity at all times. It's possible. You may not think it's possible because you're going through a storm where there's not much grace for you to move around. But that's probably because you're dealing with human beings that don't, they're not able to be God, right? They're not able to continue uh, to make the sacrifices just so that you can win, right? Um, an example of that would be you know, parents who have a uh, adult child that continues to relapse and use and the parents continue to uh, be called to come get the kids. Um, at some point in time, those parents, if they're like my parents who are aging, um, they know that they're running out of time. Their lifespan is, is shorter. They don't have that time to raise children that they didn't birth and their own children are grown. So your grace may be running out with your support system is what I'm saying. And it's because people are thinking about their own lifespan, their own quality of living. They should not have to expend what time they have left on earth to help you figure it out, right? And so grace may be becoming shorter for you. And it's because you're dealing with individuals that also have a limited uh, resource of funds, a limited resource of time, a limited resource of whatever. And you're tapping into it and taking and not adding anything to it. So grace with humans uh, is often has an expiration date on it. But grace with God is spiritual and that's why you want to make sure that you have a spiritual relationship with God one that is loving and caring where you have access to prayer and meditation where you're able to you know sit still and not only just pour yourself out in prayer but to sit still and receive answers through meditation of what direction you should be taking um, I hope you're still practicing the five minutes of breathing and becoming intimately connected to your being, your vibration, your um, thinking process, your energy, so that you know when something is feeling okay and when something isn't. And if you can learn your your physical systems, right, and allow God to to reveal to you through meditation and through your own body responses, what's good and what's not, you, you will go a long way in life. You will go a long way in life. Um, one of the things that the journey from desperation to spiritual awakening about it is that it's long and it has many uh, intricate details about it. My journey to my higher power and my spirituality is different than most people's. It's different than yours. And yours is different from everyone else's because you are unique in the sense that there's, unless you have a twin, there's no one just like you. 
you are unique. And so if you're looking to other people for similarities, you might find some, but there's going to be enough, well, there will be enough similarities in Narcotics Anonymous for you to grasp onto, but there will also be some differences. And the problem with that is because within the differences is where we like to hang out. We like to stay in the differences, stay in the fact that I'm not like you and this, I'm not the same color, I didn't live like this, I didn't do that, right? We like to live in the differences because we think those differences improve our status. We're very social, socially inclined, right? Um, to have the upper position over other people, right? And so we like to hang out in the differences so that we can not be like other people or always have the exception and not follow the rule, right? But in Narcotics Anonymous, we can't afford to do that. We have to look at our similarities. And we have to remember that first and foremost, we are addicts, right? And we know that we cannot control our drug use. We can't take the first one, right? There's some similarities. And then from that point of complete surrender, we all tend to go uh, at different paces, but kind of in the same direction, right? Of becoming productive members of society. Grace will allow you to do that. Grace, um, that last paragraph there, teaches us to let things unfold naturally and let the illusion of control go, right? And so with grace, like I said, there's there's no rushing. There's there, It's always available. Patience is always within grace. Um, if you're looking for it from other people, it, like I said, it can run out. Um, but there's some people that have a lot of grace. They have grace to deal with um, difficult people like ourselves, right? Um, but the, the most important thing I want you to take from this is that you have to let go of your expectations and enjoy the clarity of your day-to-day -day moments. You have to allow yourself to evolve spiritually, but you have to put forth the effort. You know, spirituality and intimacy with your higher power does not just come overnight or because you put a drug down. What's next? And that's what Mighty Stream wants you to be thinking about is on... Um, finding grace in the process, what is next for you? What is the next thing that you need to do to deepen or mature this level of grace in your life? And undoubtedly, you're going to be looking towards your higher power for that because that's where the true grace comes from. And that's where we as human beings, we emulate that grace. Usually what we've been given, we are able to extend to other people. Um, but for right now, you just need to find it within your relationship with your higher power and not have this expectation of other people to give you grace. If they give you grace, they extend you more time. They extend you more help. If they extend you more understanding, of your circumstance, that's beautiful. But if they don't, then what are you going to do? You still have to stay clean. You still have to move forward in your life. If they bail out on you because they're tired of you, they st you still have to do the work. And that's why I'm pointing this topic of grace towards God, towards your relationship with God. I hope that helps you. Um, I, I love talking about the topic of grace and it is, like I say, a living spiritual um, principle that should always be handy and available for you to access. I've enjoyed talking to you and I will be talking to you tomorrow.